Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. I'm very excited to do. <laughs> I'm very excited today because I'm here to give you a signal that is worth holding for a whole month. Um, yeah. So I want to show you what really makes you hold, when to hold the market. This is something that I keep talking on in my mentorship program because I like telling students that you don't hold any time, but there's a point that you're okay holding. So today's topic, uh, we are learning on <clears throat> we are learning on when to hold. When to hold. So you already know I'm a swing trader and I love holding my markets. I love holding my pairs. And today I want to show you why do I think that you can hold NSDSD for the whole month without worry and you come back and check on it um, the beginning of March. Like NSDSD is a good pair to hold. So if you, if you have been watching me and you want to try holding, kindly let's analyze together. And then we come to a conclusion of when to hold, should we hold NSDSD? Okay, guys, uh, this is for our time frame. Don't analyze for our time frame if you want to hold. For our time frame or for our analysis are not for holding. These are for short term entries. You can enter with four hour, maybe you want 50 pips to 100 pips, and then you close your trade and you're done. But when it comes to holding, we want a bigger picture. We want to go to monthly time frame. We want to do top down analysis. So we'll go to monthly time frame. So it's me going to monthly time frame. And then I'll just my my chart because I want to have a clarity, a clear uh, view on what is happening on NSDUSD. So guys, the first thing that you need to understand is that what is the market doing? And for me, I'm confident when I start identifying the patterns, the market structure, the price action, all those things I'm teaching in my mentorship program. And uh, today let's focus on the Forex pattern. For me, I tell people that it's good to understand the three pillars in the market. So there are three pillars in the market, three pillars in the market, in, in Forex. So if you don't understand what it is all about, so we have three pillars in the market. Number one, it is the price action. We have the price action. Number two, we have the market structure. We have the market structure. And number three, we have the Forex pattern. So if you want to know about the three pillars of for in Forex, of course, the price action, I talk about it so, so in details in my mentorship program, uh, the market structure. But for now, let me teach you on Forex pattern because this is what I have decided to give for free here on YouTube. So we'll, uh, we'll go straight to number three. But when I open my chart, remember, guys, I want to keep it clear out there that I will always start with price action, go with market structure, and then later go to Forex pattern. So for the Forex pattern, of course, I really emphasize on six patterns. And guys, already you know two patterns that I love so much, and that is double top and double bottom. Those are my two out of six patterns that I really really love so today as you can see our chart on monthly time frame we have a double bottom guys is that clear we have a very clean double bottom it's not like we are forcing it we have a double bottom and then you identify your neckline so that is our neckline and then we'll identify our half if you don't know how to trade double bottoms i have so many videos on this channel go and try to look for those videos and then you'll understand what to do because today we are just analyzing to see can we get a swing trade out of NSDSD. So NSDSD, you have analyzed it and according to monthly time frame, this double bottom is very clear and the market is playing or just ranging around our half. Initially, how we trade double bottoms, we trade them the first take profit after you get the entry. The TP1 is at the half. Guys, I hope you have not forgotten that the TP1 is at the half. So we don't um we don't we don't go all the way to the neckline. First, we take we target to the half. And then how to enter this trade. If you ask you want to swing according to monthly time frame, 
the market has to break this half. Like this half has to be broken for us. Let me make it bold. This half has to be broken for us even to think of getting involved. So that is NSD for you on monthly time frame. So you can see for how many months since December, the market has been ranging on the half. Uh, January it has been ranging from the half. And now we are in Feb and still it's ranging. The best thing with for me how I trade double bottoms, I already know which double bottoms can break half. There is the way I can look at the pattern, uh, the, the forex pattern, it's a double bottom and I can already know. This double bottom will, will eventually break the half. It may take time, it may take months, but there are some double bottoms, I'm sure. And there's a strategy that I use. And that strategy, I teach, the, I teach it in the mentorship program. So if you're curious, that, those are some of the details that I teach on my mentorship program, if you don't know. And my mentorship program, I charge $400. That is 40,000 Kenya shillings. So now let's continue. For three months, the market has not broken the half. Three months, the market has not broken half. So what do we do if we want to enter? According to monthly, there is no entry. Guys, according to monthly, we have to wait for when a green candle will eventually break that half. That's when we can say, now NSDSD has confirmed a buy up to the neckline with monthly time frame, And that's why you see many people now can hold these trades for months until it is hit. So guys, what I want to tell you today is that you need to understand your pattern. You need to understand the reason behind holding. So for me, it is clear. I cannot hold using monthly time frame because what I want to see, it has not happened. We have a red candle that is coming and we don't know how it will close. So I can still go down the time frame. Let's try weekly time frame. So on monthly, we are not supported, supported to buy or sell because we don't have that confirmation. So when I go to weekly, what will happen? On weekly, guys, on weekly, guys, I want you to show, I want to show you something. On weekly, let's first see what pattern do we have? On weekly, the same double bottom that is on monthly, it is still on weekly. Guys, I hope you can see this double bottom. It is still very clear. It has not been violated. So everything will remain the same. Everything will remain the same from the half. Everything will remain the same. Even we can draw again for those people who think uh, we need to draw. So you can still draw the half and see everything will remain the same. So our focus is because on weekly still we have a double bottom. How is our half coming through? So let, let me magnify this half and you tell me if this half has been broken on weekly time frame. Let me try to magnify it. And you can see clearly, not only this um, uh, spinning top has broken, first we broke it. Guys, can you see that the half was broken uh, three weeks ago the, in the month of January, that's when that half was broken. And then that half was broken and BWA was confirmed. And that BWA confirming, it means this market will continue to go up. So that is one of the reason I'm telling you guys that NSDSD is a big, big opportunity for you to swing as we wait for monthly to close. So we can swing it for whole of this month. And then on March, we'll be running towards monthly time frame to check what will happen here. What will happen here? Because we need, by the time monthly time frame is closing, by the time the market is closing on March, we have a very big candle on monthly that is now breaking what? That green line. So in short, what I'm trying to tell you is that time frame, there are time frames that go ahead of each other. If at all we didn't have a double bottom on weekly, this line could not, this breaking could not have made sense. Guys, you need to understand. If we don't have the same double bottom, the breaking on half cannot make sense because it is from monthly. Now we have the same setup, double bottom on uh, on weekly breaking half. Now let's go and see if we have the same double bottom on daily. So guys, NSDSD 
it will buy according to weekly. Even if it doesn't, it won't buy according to daily, but for this, uh, some like two or three weeks, they will start buying and they can even come to this zone. So for me, what I'm, 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 I'm believing that this market will go and maybe this will be the tough decision for buyers to break that resistance. But according to, according to weekly, it is a buy because of this double bottom. So if you want more reason why you should buy according to weekly, I can give you some. So this was a double top. This was a double top. And then the market came down and then it came and broke this resistance. That means it can be making a cup and handle. So on weekly, we can still have a cup and handle, even when we don't know about that double bottom. Still, we have a cup and handle because of this breaking. Guys, I'm telling you, once you uh, understand that the market is a long-term buy, there are some patterns that now will, will um, there are patterns that will be supporting your analysis. So you can see that is a cup and handle. And now the market can, will be buying up according to this. Another thing, there is a inverted head and shoulder. Guys, can you see this inverted head and shoulder? We have that shoulder, we have that head, and then the shoulder came down again and broke. Guys, we have a head and shoulder inverted. So what I'm trying to tell you is that weekly time frame buys opportunity is shouting, screaming, I want to buy, this market will buy, even, even if we, are, we don't have confirmation on monthly. So for me, I'm still supporting buy, and this is a long-term buy. Once you buy LSDSD, be patient for a whole month, and then we'll update it on, um, on, 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 uh, on the end of the month. So let's see if we have the same double bottom. You can see the same double bottom is seen. You can see the same double bottom is seen on daily. And because our analysis will end them on daily, you can see the green line was broken. Guys, what are you waiting for? The green line was broken. So eventually, if you want to enter, if you want to enter, for me, I'm already buying. So if you want to enter buy, you can wait for this um, resistance to break. You can see we have a consolidation. So this is like a box. I can put a range in the market is ranging there and wait for the direction. So if you want to, if you're that cons conservative, like you want to, to preserve your entry now, you can wait for the market to break through this box. And that's when now confirmation of buyers, not confirming, like continuation of buyers will be continuing because already buyers have been confirmed. Guys, I hope that analysis has helped you. Many people will look at this double top. I know many people are looking at that double top and they think that the market will do what? They think the market will go to the neckline because they have the neckline here. Guys, if I tell you that this is not a double top, it is a triple top. And you know, for a triple top, it is not guaranteed for the market to go at the neckline. We have one attempt, second attempt, third attempt, and fourth attempt. Guys, is that a double top? So why do you think it will go to the neckline? Why are you saying that, oh, this double top has broken half because I taught you about half. You, you think, oh, my the market broke here half. So you have sell entry up to here. What you miss in everything I'm talking about is this is not a double top. It's more than three attempts. You can see three attempts. And when three attempts are there, the market is not guaranteed to the neckline. So guys, if you want to buy an SDSD, that is the long-term buy that I've given on this channel uh, on, the, on, on this year, on the month of February. And people may ask, where should we, um, where should we take our take profit? Where is the best place to take to hit our take profit? So we will still use the weekly time frame. So on weekly time frame, even if we take this as the cup and handle or inverted head and shoulder, for me, I will, my first take profit will be this distance and then I take half of it. So people may ask, where is the first take profit? So according to weekly, our first take profit should be around um, 69.46. So you can start with 69.46. 
0.6900. And then if at all you want to have quick take profit on daily, what you can do, you can take this as a ranging market. You can see this one, a ranging market, and then you draw the box. So this is a take profit on daily. You draw the box like this, and then you pull it up. We are looking for take profit. So the first take profit on weekly time frame um, is there. But remember, guys, this trade I want you to hold for one month. Are you able to hold it for one month as we wait for monthly confirmation? So you can see for uh, take profit on daily, if you want to not to hold for that long, take profit is at 67. So I have to take profit. 6,700. So let me adjust. I can adjust. Everyone can adjust their take profit. So first take profit uh, on weekly can be 69, like that. And then this one can be 6,700. Guys, I hope now you are clear. But for me, I'm willing to hold unless I see, until I see how monthly candle we close. If we break if on monthly, this is what will happen. If on monthly, we are able to break this zone, the market is coming all the way. It will go up to 7,400. That's what I'm saying. I want for my uh, for my analysis, for, me to, for monthly to break so that it can be a long-term holding. So if they can break, we are looking at 975 pips if they are able to to break that zone. So for me, I will wait until monthly break. But now I've given you two positions. You can put your take profit around 67, 67. So if you buy right now, if you buy right now and you hold it up to 67, that is already 390 pips. If you buy right now and you hold according to weekly time frame, that is 592 pips. If you hold now and wait up to the neckline of monthly, after we get the confirmation, that will be 1,167. So it is your decision. How do you want to go about NSDSD? Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have learned when to hold. We only hold. And the reason why we are not holding up to the neckline of monthly, because I have to wait for the for the month to end for me to get confirmation. But I can hold up to the weekly uh, guidelines where uh, the market is supposed to go. So thank you so much guys for watching. Until next time, bye-bye, love you.